Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo and I was looking around on my computer and I found this old video back from 2018. Hey everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo and I am with my sister. Hello, it's Kami Tally, the Crafty Princess. And today we are actually doing a follow-up video from one we did about our Puerto Rican um, trip from Puerto Call, Puerto Call right? from the uh, Carnival Sunshine. And um, we first want to start out by mentioning when we were getting ready to pull in, probably what an hour? Yeah, I think it was like at, at 11 11 30. It was okay, 11 30, yeah. Right. And we were supposed to come into Puerto Rico at 1. Mm -hmm. uh, we were in the middle of doing a craft. They actually had a craft class. But as you notice, we didn't finish that. And why would that be? We wanted to go see Puerto Rico. <laughs> it's one of the coolest things about coming into Puerto Rico when you're taking a cruise is you get to see the beauty of the island. Um, you get to see the, um, the cliffs and the, um, the ruins for the forts. And it's just, mm -hmm. so we had to race over <laughs> and find our spot. So we stuffed everything yeah. and hopefully we have all of our yeah. stuff to finish. Yeah, it's kind of, it's a nautical theme. Thing. It, it was nice to have something like that. It was no charge. It was free, so that was kind of nice that the carnival had that. Um, but then we, one of the you know things on our list to do was, of course, to get some beads. And um, like she said, we mentioned it in our day four video for our 2018 uh, trip to, on the Carnival Sunshine. But we know not everybody's into the details of the beads, <laughs> so we're breaking this out into um, a separate video. And for those who are interested in all the, the beady details, we will get into that. Right. So, where do we begin? I guess we should... Caribbean Beads. Yes. Is that the name of the Caribbean place? Caribbean Beads. That's yes. the first place. That's the first place, bead, stop, bead shop, that we stopped. And um, we made a haul. I bought a lot of really beautiful stuff. <laughs> um, okay, I'll just start out. I got me some really beautiful freshwater pearls. Nice chunky potato pearls. Yeah. Yes, they're they're a good weight. They're nice. Yeah. Yes. And then I got some some of these pink beads. Uh, they're very bright. We're not sure what those. I don't are. know what they may just be. Pink. I think they're just glass beads, yeah. but they're really pretty. I I like them a lot. And then lots of crystals, and uh, we, we actually actually's. all of these she got, and, and then, then she I got, got those. Lot. So okay, so let's go. You want to do yours first? Well, I don't even know what, I mean, basically when she kept picking at beads and I was, at these crystal beads, because they were on sale too, there was a whole section, 50% yes. off, and um, she'd pick up a strand, and I was like, where'd you get that? Where'd you get that one? <laughs> so, I got everything she got, and then I got a little few extras, um, I don't know what, the, all the, the blues and stuff really I like for some reason, um, so I got everything she's going to show you, plus these three reason. other ones. Yeah, I, hopefully our light is okay. Yeah. It's kind of a, it's very late at night, by the way. Yes. We're, we're pretty tuckered out, so. But we want to yes, do don't that. judge me. <laughs> we, it was a very windy day, oh too. Oh, my goodness, so. yeah. All right, so I have these really pretty kind of gray. They have some different colors in them. Yeah. Crystals. These are kind of peachy crystals. And these are like a silvery... And these are black and silver. So. And then we have kind of a blue and gold or champagne like. Yeah, it's kind of a. I don't know if it's going to do justice. I don't know. I may have to take some pictures of these and show them at the end. Because these are really pretty. And some more blue ones. Now, I mean, obviously, you can get these kind of crystals other places in yes. Puerto Rico, but neither one of us live near bead shops. No. Um, so to go to a bead shop at all is a treat, and um, let alone, that's really cool. Yeah. Let alone going to, to one in Puerto Rico, and uh, we look for things like we'll buy pendants and stuff in places um, so that we can, you know, turn them into jewelry. Um, so besides getting all of those crystals, I also got these glass pearls. Again, really, and I think these were like a dollar... 25 a strand um, and this one's kind of just like a pale pink purpley 
uh, kind of a coppery color, and then just white. These are good for mixing, using for you know spacer beads and that kind of stuff. And let's see, what else do we get there? Uh, Caribbean Beads, by the way, is is I guess if I had to describe the the shop, um, it has a lot of findings and you know to, the things to put jewelry together. Um, it also has a lot of um, interesting, uh, inexpensive charms. And as far as the beads go, there's more crystals and glass. Mm -hmm. Did you show those purple ones? Oh, that's right. Where is that? Oh, they're right there. Oh. They dropped on the floor. As I was checking out, I saw those these in the glass case. So, yes, they were a little bit on the, a little bit more pricey than most of their beads. And I don't even remember what these were called. Um, but they have this purpley colors and blues. And this had like every color. I just thought these were really cool. This is something I'll make a necklace for myself. And it'll be like a nice souvenir. The little tag thing on here. We were trying to. I tried to read. I don't. Well, she told me what it was. But it says Nat Rigaldi. <laughs> I, maybe, we don't know what Nat, that is. Maybe, maybe natural. Natural Rigaldi. Natural Rigaldi. Don't know what that there is. <laughs> A new bead, <laughs> natural results. Yeah. Oh, so um, it's pretty though. Yeah, so. I liked it, and um, like I said, I can you know I'll make some cool you know probably like one really nice piece with that for me. And then as far as charms go, show them your charms. She's got some cool. All charms. right, we got mostly the same except for these two. I think the only two different ones, right? Yeah. yeah. So um, oh, and then, yeah. bought a mermaid. Actually, I think I bought her last year too. Did you? Yeah, I have. I'm almost positive I bought her, but she was more of a brass color. Okay. And I put her in a piece that sold. It's gone. Okay. So, so that will probably be another piece in your yes. Etsy shop at some point. Yeah. Probably some point. Yeah. And then this little guy. So Isn't he cute? cute? I think he's got personality. He's and I did buy this one last year, too. <laughs> so, but the rest, the rest of what I have, she has. So yeah, I want so, to show you that. Um, I got these little lotus. They have like a green tint to them. Um, Probably behind the, the white, even. The white. Uh, there we go. There's lotus. Yep. And then the we got Kofi's. Kofi's on the brain here. Yeah, so, we do. <laughs> we got so, a couple of these. And a couple of these. This is a Kofi on a kind of a lily pad looking thing, I guess. And then these are really neat. I think these are like mother of pearl. Um, and they're they're like kind of cabs, I guess you could say, with a silver star in them. And they already have a hole punched in them. Yeah, through the center. Yeah, so, so this is like earring. instant earring. Yeah, yeah. And you put a little crystal oh, yeah. above it. So here's the back. Yeah, those it's just are really plain. Neat. So, But they're pretty. Yeah. And I also, while we're there, I got a few findings just because we're going to actually going to be teaching a, um, with our Facebook, Carnival Facebook group, we are teaching a, she's teaching it, and I'm kind of the backup, a uh, guitar string bracelet class. And I had meant to bring some jump rings for that, and I totally spaced out. Um, and so I bought some jump rings. <laughs> and then I just saw these, these lobster claw clasps, at, and they were a good price, and I could always use some of these, so I got a couple of these. And so that was all at Caribbean Beads, right? Right. They're, and they're super nice there if you're ever in town. Uh, what Do you know what the street is there off of? Was it San Francisco? Or was that the other place? So Quest is off San Francisco. There. You know what? I will put We'll put that, the addresses yeah. of both of them in a caption. How about that? That sounds yeah. good. I'll and, have to and do that. that way. Yes. Because um, if you're a crafty person and you're and you're in uh, Puerto Rico, <laughs> you will want to go to these places. We actually, one of the girls oh, yes. in our uh, group, our Facebook Amy. group, Amy. Sorry, Amy. Hi, Amy. <laughs> uh, she she was at the meet and greet, and we were talking and all, and she makes jewelry too. And so we told her about these two places, and and she's from Puerto Rico. Too. Oh, she's yeah. actually yeah, she's she, from Puerto Rico. Yeah, that's, yeah so we're shopping around, and, and there she was. Sudden, she's like, she did some yeah. damage in there yeah. too. It's her <laughs> fault. It's all your fault. <laughs> yep. Her and her husband are like, oh, oh they're buying beads, so. So yeah, definitely Caribbean beads, very, uh, very good prices. Yes. Yeah, very good prices for the quality uh, of what you get. Definitely. Right. Yeah. Um, and then we went off to Tequesa, which I'm probably saying that completely wrong. We actually had, we stopped at that Turquesa. pharmacy. Yeah. Turquesa. Turquesa. We stopped at a pharmacy and asked those girls because we were getting kind of turned around and 
and they're like, where are you going? I'm like, we're going to Tequesa. Yeah, no, we're going. We're getting some bees at Tequesa. And then she's like, so I showed her. She goes, what are you? And so I had the address on my um, cell phone. Oh, I, this. Our thing keeps going out, it's, so we can't yeah. touch this. We're Sorry. Here. <laughs> but I showed her, and she goes, oh, it's and just down the street. Right. That's so. what you poor people are saying. You don't even understand you. But anyway, when we got there, they have, um, their beads are more high quality. Yeah, they're a little bit more high end. Right. Um, and they're more into gemstones. Right. Like, I don't think you saw, were there any crystals in there? Like any, any glass crystals? No, they had there? faceted beads, which we have some. Yeah, but they're gemstone faceted beads, right? They're gemstone faceted yeah. beads. No crystals like those glass crystals right. that we had. Right. Oh, I think and, everything and they have a lot of like loose, loose stones, which, yeah. um. Again, These, we got a lot of the same stuff, so yeah. we won't show you duplicates. So they have like bowls and of of stones and little boxes of stones. And they and sell them by the gram. Right. So the you, you don't know how much it is until they go and wait. Right. Um, you know. But uh, so I got some Amazonite, and I'm going to wrap these. I love that. Yeah. These are really, really pretty and stones. My favorite stones. Yes. yes. Super pretty. And those are even kind of polished. Yes. They these had are some polished. that were rough, and, and then we were concerned that those might. You know, might be, you know, but it was a type of stone because I've done like raw rose quartz or raw yeah. um, amethyst, and they're okay. But those these, are okay. These seem flaky. Yeah, I forgot yeah. what I forgot what other stone those were. But yeah. anyway, and then these are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Mm. These are an orange calcite, and they're kind of a rust color. And this actually has some kind of oh, yeah. turquoise color in it. So I got a couple yeah. of those. And you'll see, she's been into wire wrapping a lot. If you go on her Etsy shop, you'll see she's been wire wrapping stones, and she's been wire wrapping uh, shells and pieces of yeah. shells and, and, uh, and all this kind of stuff. In fact, this and, is, and sea glass. So, in fact, I'm, I, I can do the wire wrapping, but she's better at it. So I'm like, I'm going to buy these, and we're going to wire wrap them. <laughs> and then. Uh, yeah, these are really These cool. are really pretty. These and it was really, really, I was looking at these, and then my sister pointed out to me that they have a hole in them. They're ready. Yeah, they already have holes drilled into them so yes. that you can easily put a bale on there. Just put some wire in there. Or you could just put a jump ring. Right. Could, I mean, you could just put a jump ring and put it on a chain. Oh, and right. You're and you're done. Yeah. Or a black cording. Black or... cording would be cool. Yeah. Look at this. That is just gorgeous. I love yeah. these. You should take some still pictures of those. And this is just agate. Yeah. Let's see. They've been sliced. Right. This one, let's see, I don't know if you can tell, in the center it, it yeah, yes. you can see how it's glittering there. And then this next one I actually bought for my mom. I'm going to make her something with it. It's kind of oranges, and I don't know what these are. Probably some type of agate. Still kind of agate. These chips I'm going to put with it. Probably add some pearls and some type of little crystals in it. Mm -hmm. This is going to really be pretty. But we will wear that with all kinds. Oh of yeah. Stuff too. So that I'm going to make that for my mom. I thought it looked like her. Yeah. And yeah. let's see. I yeah, got go ahead. some of the same. Um, this is a piece that I got. Again, it's got the hole in it, and then it's kind of sparkly, which is probably not showing up there. Um, and then I got two smaller ones that don't have the holes in the center, but have the holes in the top. And I got a few of those. And that, I like that these. Beautiful. Yeah, this, you know, what's cool is something like this. I mean, you can look at that and just match up some beads. Mm -hmm. Like, really easy. You don't have to even think of the color palette. It's like, you know. These are some beads we got with it. Look at this. Yeah, look at that. So, yeah. And we've got the, those were in Chiquessa, right? Yeah, they're faceted. I don't know. Oh, they're not marked? Mm -mm, I thought they were. Are yours yeah. marked? I, don't, I got a scratch of it. I don't think so. You're right. That's weird. Oh, you know what? These, I think, were blue lace agate. Oh, yes, they are. Blue yeah. lace agate, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are really, really pretty. Yeah. Look how they glitter. Mm. They yeah, sparkle. they actually are faceted. You're right. Yep. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of their beads are... Now, this is one of their more, less less expensive strands. Yes. Um, but it's still nice. It's faceted and everything. And then, did you show these? No, no, not yet. Okay. Uh -uh. Show the, go ahead and show them. So then we both got a strand of these. 
Now, a couple of years ago, I actually bought a strand of these. They were a little brighter. And my mom, I made her a necklace with some of these and put some crystals in there. And she wears them all the time. Yeah, and these are faceted, yeah. about eight millimeter size. These are something, yeah, you can wear these. I mean, this will go with like all kinds of stuff. Yeah, black. Yeah. Black. Yeah, green, black, pink, pink yellow, yellow, green. Yeah, these are pretty. Yeah. And then the la last of my beads are these um, sandstone. Oh, is that right? No, no, no. goldstone. Goldstone. I'm goldstone. like, I knew that wasn't right. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but they super sparkly. They sparkle, so they'll be really pretty. And I may even put some of these in with that necklace that I'm going to make my mom. Oh, that would look good. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Yeah. And now, um, <laughs> Tammy splurged. I got in trouble. Okay. <laughs> these are beautiful. That is an Amazonite. Gorgeous. Yeah, last last year I bought a, a similar strand, similarly priced strand actually, mm -hmm. of Nucalite beads, and I, I made a necklace with it, wore the necklace a whole bunch, and then re-engineered it into another <laughs> necklace, which I've worn a whole bunch, and then, you know, I'm really, you know, it's one of those things, like, at the time I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'd spend all that money on it, just a strand of beads, you know, but I've worn the heck out of those beads, and I've enjoyed them, and so I, this year I thought, I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to buy something really, something really, you know, hits me, right. I'm going to buy it, right? And literally when I was walking down and looking at all the beads. It came off the rack and slapped her in hit. the face. I walked by and I was like, <laughs> I, literally I went, yeah. and I thought, <laughs> and it's not like I didn't, I actually had a pair of opal, a strand of opal beads. They, they were, were beautiful really too. Pretty. But they looked, they were, they were gorgeous, all right? But these, I took my breath away and mm -hmm. I was like, that's it. I, I have to buy these and, you know, I mean. I say all that, and somebody's going to think they're like a hundred dollars for me, but they were what are they twenty five? These were twenty five dollars. Okay, which is high. Which is high. That's but high. They're good quality. Lying. They're very yeah. nice. I mean, they're evenly cut. They're faceted. Um, I say there may be a couple of beads on here that I'm kind of so so about, but every single bead is usable. Um, you know, and I will have a very special piece that will remind me of my. And I can't just go down to my local bead shop because it right. does not exist. <laughs> and yeah, my local bead yeah. shop is Hobby Lobby. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're not going to find this at Hobby Lobby. No, you're not going to find that. No. And, you know, it's, this to me is one of those things like I like to pick this kind of stuff out. Because if you didn't see this in person, I don't know if you would really, you know. And that's forward. hard. I buy a lot of my stuff online. I and so I don't really out. see it until it's there, you know. I mean, you can see it online, but... It's hard to yeah. um, really tell. Um, they don't really take that great pictures. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. It's not, it's, and it's just not the same seeing it in person. See, when you see things like that in person, it's a huge, it's a totally different situation. I'm not saying don't buy online. There's, yeah, there's buy a lot online. of vendors that have great stuff. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah buy like my my place, I got great stuff. <laughs> That's going to be made with stuff like this. Yeah, so. exactly. But uh, but anyway, that is pretty much. Um, our haul from Puerto Rico and uh, yeah thanks for watching you guys yeah and stay tuned for beautiful jewelry made with this stuff oh yeah this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo and, and Crafty Princess talk to you later bye bye bye